4x4 stopped working on this Nissan Titan pickup truck. Let's do the basic diagnosis, find what we are missing and why 4x4 system is not happy and uh, get it fixed and back on the road as usual. Let's confirm the issue, start with the basic, do our diagnosis. Do we have a problem with the electrical part of the circuit load control side? We're missing some CAN bus communication or we are down to some mechanical problem like a transfer case or our propeller front shaft or even front differential. I don't know. Let's start the truck and see what we have. I have a key in my hand. Let's start the vehicle. See if we have any DTCs. All right. And we have 262,943 kilometers, which is not that many. Trucks fire right up. Let's turn the blower fan off. Here we go. Engine is cold. Vehicle is idling. Let's close our door. And we only have tire pressure monitor light lit no engine or transmission light present and as you can see we're in rear wheel drive two by four our selector is in two wheel drive position and our transfer case and front axle is not engaged All right. and as you can see engine light is not lit that means we don't have any active permanent codes stored in a engine computer or transmission control module but could be some of them pending we'll do the scan in a minute and uh, now let's switch to 4 high and uh, listen for the relay in solenoid to engage click we we'll should hear the noticeable audible sound when relay will turn on and solenoid will get engaged and we also should have our full front axle and transfer case lights lit as well okay let's switch from two-wheel drive to 4x4 and listen for a click there we go we could hear the click it means we technically should be in 4 high and as you can see here our transfer case and our front axle is on means we're in 4 high mode let's turn back listen for a click and watch for lights get another click good and our lights are off it means technically we have everything to the switch I and mean, we have a control and we have a load but we're not sure what's going on downstairs where the transfer case propeller shaft and differential yeah there's no engine light at the moment let's take a truck for a spin and um, confirm the issue do we actually have 4x4 working let's switch to 4x4 again there we go seems like we have something happen not sure do we really have a 4x4 engaged yeah let's go for all right find the slope and try to try to put vehicle in a 4x4 situation when we really need it and we won't be able to drive without 4x4 okay there we go i found the slope where without 4x4 we won't be able to climb and uh, we're in 4 high and uh, if we have a 4x4 working truck should climb this hill no problem i know camera is flattening everything's down but from this perspective you can see it's relatively steep probably 15% and uh, 
yeah let me set my GoPro on the side and then you can see how we're doing okay right let's see what do we have camera is recording and let's go and do our first test confirm with the no 4x4 issue okay put it in drive we're on and let's try to move let's just get a window down slowly climbing yeah. try to <laughs> get a traction and that's only from the rear right tire we're slipping and nothing nothing no torque no power to the front axle whatsoever not good all right well we have an issue confirmed we know our 4x4 doesn't work and my next step will be to confirm are we getting the torque to the propeller shaft down to the front differential see if our shaft turns if not that means we have a problem with the, with the transfer case there's our shaft as you can see over there propeller shaft and let's get a camera underneath and see if that shaft turns if it does yes, we have everything's fine with the transfer case and we have some sort of issue with the front diff yeah let's do that set a camera and repeat a test to narrow down our problem and see what it is okay am I camera recording let's watch for the shaft we'll turn not and then we'll have a, a clear indication what causing the problem all right let's jump in from the test there we go we're for high and Let's go slow and try to climb. nature all right yeah same thing same problem let's take our camera off let's pause stop it and ABS system works as it should no any ABS lights or slip at the moment yeah, usually when you have ABS light, your 4x4 won't work. Let's play the clip. We'll pay attention to the propeller shaft. And as you can see, it's turning. Power is transferring to the front differential. And yeah, it means 
the front circuit transmission is okay, propeller shaft is working, and we have uh, some sort of problem at the front differential. Yeah, beautiful. Well, now we know our actuator, our switch, our electrical part, control load, cam bus system, our other systems like ABS are working properly yeah now we are going down to the front differential and uh, yeah see what's up with that guy awesome all right this is a proof we confirm an issue our 4x4 doesn't work from axle doesn't engage well might as well let's go and do the quick vehicle scan with the blue driver basic but very powerful OPD diagnostic tool let's do the quick scan see what possible pending codes we have I don't think anything related to the 4x4 system let's shift to two-wheel drive clear the click now it's all disengaged light is off let's do the quick scan and then dive under the truck and get to the front differential okay vehicle has been identified yeah 2004 Nissan let's um, go to diagnostic okay connection successful let's uh, go read the codes let's scan all systems all modules it will take a little while yeah okay we have a little on codes found Interesting. Okay, we're in kilometers. 262. 262. 943. There we go. Let's see what we have. All right. We have a P1446 vent control valve. It's pending. Mm -hmm. Nothing to worry about that. Okay, we have a vent control code p1446 not a big of a deal and we have tire pressure monitor flat tire yeah our tire sensors are offline the batteries inside the tire for monitoring the tire pressure and the power of the tire sensor they're flat and um, no signal that's okay no no flat 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 no data okay no data no data battery voltage low yeah vehicle has been sitting for three weeks could be slightly low yeah nothing really concerning and um, we have to worry about it nothing related to drivetrain transmission issues and we don't have any indications of the ABS problems as well let's just uh, clear all codes and um, I have this report saved here yeah Titan we have everything's here no worries if we need it it's here all right let's uh, turn the key off yeah all right scanning done this little scanner tool hundred twenty dollars very powerful I always have it with me works fantastic good return for your buck all right the snow has been on and off <laughs> all morning and it doesn't really help with the work everything's getting wet but nothing can stop us all right what I'm going to do we'll jack the truck up put in a jack stance and we're going underneath and we'll look for any leaks loose parts any worn out busted bearings seals and any visible damage and uh, do the visual inspection check yeah let's get underneath and see what's up i have a pickup truck already on a jack stance but before going underneath let's take a brief look on a front final drive assembly diagram this is for Nissan Titan, Nissan Armata, and as you can see here, there's uh, our front flange number 20, companion flange. 
is a bearing and over here we have a number nine which is uh, our um, drive pinion bevel gear there's a main gear sand gear 29 we have a differential case and differential itself and two axles on the passenger side and on a driver's side as well or the cv axle bolts too as you can see and on the end of the axle the flanges and a seal on both sides and uh, this differential takes almost two quarts of gear oil and um, yeah now we can see our problem could be at this flange the bearing worn out stripped uh, flange or something loose inside and uh, yeah could be the axle popped off or broken axle and axle flanges there go inside this inner differential carrier as you can see here and uh, yeah well let's see what we will find well we're going to take a I hope a short break this <laughs> Snow doesn't help much. Yeah, everything is getting wet. Oh, look at that. Well, it is what it is. Cannot control the nature. And we'll get back to the truck a little bit later. Not a big of a deal. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go make a coffee. <laughs> Check it out. Hour and a half later. We have a full blasting winter. <laughs> it looks like God has different plans for us. And uh, yeah, definitely not the best time to get underneath. <laughs> well, we need more snow. More snow means more water. And um, yeah, snow will stop. We're back two days later. Yeah, we had a good dump of snow. Temperature dropped to minus 20 degrees Celsius. We're back to positive numbers, plus 3 degrees Celsius outside, nice and warm. Well, it's still winter. It's end of February. Very good, way better. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, critics, suggestions, put everything down in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer it. Yeah, okay. Let's dive in. Go. And it's pretty cold and wet to be on apply. We have a crawler. There we go. And what we're looking for, we're looking for leaks, loose parts, and just do the visual inspection first. Yeah. All right. Truck has been on a jack stance for two days, and now we ended up with a puddle of gear oil dripping on the front differential, as you can see, drop here. And we definitely have a leak let's see what's up and here we go we have a driver's side CV axle inner part this part popped from the, the differential that's not good well my first question why this axle popped out do we have any problems right at the hub where the axle not bolted to the wheel bearing hub we'll check that and uh, yeah did it happen because our differential uh, gearing failed inside the housing we don't know yet and uh, or something happened to the axle and axle came out overextended and uh, yeah as you can see Here's the seal, and the oil is dripping out. I think we are already lost some oil. And on this side, on the passenger side, as you can see, everything nice and dry, all intact. And yeah, there's no excessive bearing play. Everything's nice and tight. 
no visual damage, no leaks, the boots are good. We don't worry about that part. Or now we're focusing on our front final drive. Yeah, okay, let's see. Yeah, everything's rotating. If I turn the wheel, the shaft is turning. But if I turn the shaft, let me, let me put a camera on a tripod when we're doing a, our uh, test drive te check and uh, the shaft was spinning and no power was transferred to the axle. So let's try to turn it by hand and see if we'll have the axle turning. Yeah, it's turning. It's turning now, and you can see the wheel is turning. And yeah, but yeah, it is what it is. So I was like, now everything's engaged, and then um, yeah, let's go take a wheel off and uh, see what's on that side. Yeah. There you go. Here's our brake rotor, here's our knuckle and wheel bearing hub and axle nut and the pin is in place. I don't see any issues with this part. Nothing was disturbed. Let's see on the back. Yeah, the axle inside the wheel bearing hub. Yeah, it's flash. Pretty good, and oh, this reluctor wheel is inside for ABS sensor. Mm. A little air gap here. I don't think that's a problem for now. I mean, it's probably good because Axel pulled out, and yeah. So far on the hub side, everything looks just fine. Let's turn the hub. Yeah, everything turns. Yeah, it's after turning as well. Oh well. I'm wondering if we can just uh, pop this axle in. And uh, it should be good, or we have to drop it deaf. Yeah, okay, let's uh, try to get that axle inside the diff. There's nothing to lose, or yeah, or we just have to drop the diff and see why that happened. Yeah, okay, get this thing back in place and why it popped out. Yeah, okay. Just set my half inch long extension bar on a flange like that. And uh, yeah, let's tap it and see how it goes. One side, let's switch to another side. All right, now let's go check it out. Didn't take us long, and uh, it was pretty easy. And uh, turn my flasher on, make sure I can see better. And she's right back in a sweet spot. Yeah, axle is in place. That's a mystery. Well, axle is in. Let's uh, uh, fill up a gear oil, and she should stay. Might well, as well just let's. Grease the suspension, I and mean, these grease nipples are pretty, pretty rusted. I mean, we'll push some grease. Yeah, grease is our best friend. Axel is in. Here's a, our drain plug, and right at the top over here, on the right side, we have a 
filler plug and normally you have to take this metal from the skid plate so two bolts there a couple over there yeah but i was able to get inside to that plug with a half inch extension and break it loose with the breaking bar i don't like to take too many things apart and yeah it's already loose let's take the black hole out completely put some aw 90 gear oil as you can see plug is kind of it's much easier to work on trucks pick up trucks as any excavators snow doesn't want to stop let's keep going here we go. The plug is removed. It's over there. Yeah, let's just uh, pump the oil in and uh, take it for spin. Yeah. Stay. There you go. There's a plug. Let's inspect the plug. As you can see, I have a little bit of metal dust. It's no big chunks, nothing serious. Just the metal shavings. Yeah, it's a dust. No big pieces. Just a just a filing. Yeah. Anyway, that differential wasn't making any noise or showing any sign of wear and tear. It just uh, stopped working. And uh, yeah, I have a uh, oil here. Go. Let's uh, put the oil in. I have a pump. Let's get this tube in. Like so. All right. It's cold outside and plastic is stiff. It's a winter. There we go. Let's pump until oil will start coming out from the filler hole. And uh, a diff takes roughly two quarts. We'll probably still have some left on the bottom. Here we go. As you can see, oil started coming out of the filler hole means yeah we're up to the level usually you how you measure you start pumping oil in and as soon as it start spilling out that's it and how much did it take uh, okay this is a one liter bottle those are up to the cap probably uh, 250 left, uh, 1200 milliliters, probably a liter, and uh, this diff takes two quarts, roughly two liters. Okay, beautiful. Okay, let's take the tubing out. That's good. Oh, by the way, this is very handy little pump. I got it for, for $10. The automotive store super useful helps to avoid creating a big mess. All right, I'm going to put the filler plug back, uh, increase the front suspension, might as well increase the shafts, and yeah, drop the vehicle down, take it for a spin, and see if it will take care of the problem. At least uh, it's an PR, no parts required repair. Axle is back. Yeah, we'll give a wash and uh, wash for leaks. Yeah, at least we can get this vehicle back on the road. I hope with a 4x4. All right, we'll put a plug back and we'll see you in a minute. Cap on a driver's side, outer CV axle, right at the ABS reluctor wheel. Gap on a passenger side, outer CV axle. Shield are right at the ABS reluctor wheel inside the knuckle is the same as a on a on a driver's side. Yeah, that's not an issue. We're all good. Yeah, beautiful. All right, we're back to 
to our 4x4 testing hill and now it's on snow it's wet before going for the test let's uh, look underneath if that axle popped out i drove it up to the spot and it seems like it's in place let's turn the flashing on uh, it looks like it's Let's take a look from the other side. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's in place. Yeah, should be good. All right, let's uh, try to climb the hill. All right, let's jump in. Okay, we're on two wheel drive right now. Let's shift to four high. But here the click and uh, yeah let's go up four by four is on and we should be able to climb with the roll. oh yeah no problem look at that easy Four by four is back to business. Beautiful. Will be nice if this is a simple fix. Let's do one more time. Put and drive, and uh, yeah, let's go that way because there is a stump. Let's see if we can make it. Because without four by four, uh, no way. Oh yeah. Here we go. We made it up the hill. the way on 4x4 look at that <laughs> quite a bit of way yeah 4x4 is working awesome well <laughs> that axle was causing so much pain and then um, hmm yeah yeah nice I like it no parts required to repair yeah let's go down and uh, Oh, I'll keep eye on that axle. There we go, we're going down. Same way as we drove up. It's pretty, as you can see, it's pretty steep and slippery. And we're able to go all the way up if we need. Yeah, fantastic. I like it. So far so good, I'm happy with the repair. Well, uh, we'll definitely keep eye on that axle and uh, yeah, I'm still pretty curious why that even happened. I have to talk to a good friend of mine. Yeah, he drove the truck and uh, that 4x4 quit on him. We need a little bit more history, I'll let you know. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy, very happy with the repair. Hope Titan will be reliable and uh, won't cause the stuck no-go situations, but so far everything's good. All right, awesome. Here's a story how 4x4 stopped working on this Titan pickup truck. Everything was fine, but one day they had a flat front tire. And uh, notice a bit late on the road when tire went absolutely flat, get chewed up and uh, wedged. Truck was driven on a rough, ruddy, bouncy, muddy road and wheel got wedged and for some time it was pushed through the mud. Somehow or another they didn't put a spare, they called a Tow truck, tow truck came, winched truck on a deck, took it to the tire shop, they put a new tire, everything looked good, new tire, truck back on the road, 
and then 4x4 stop working yeah that is story and um, hmm don't drive on a flat tire that's the main lesson thank you so much guys for your time watching this video appreciate you that if you have any comments questions critics suggestions put everything down in the comment section below yeah if this video is helpful information put a thumbs up subscribe to the channel well so far 4x4 works no any issues yeah i'm happy with this no ports required repair are you happy too buddy yeah good nice coat uh-huh you like a snow Yeah, well, if uh, 4x4 will start acting up, we'll let you know. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, see you later.